This is Tom Carr's national editor for the Packer. The week of June 17th will see legislative action on both the Farm Bill and immigration reform. I talked with Ray Gilmer of United Fresh about industry expectations for the Farm Bill in the House and the Senate's debate on immigration. The House is expected to take up the Farm Bill. Might even uh, see a floor schedule announced, but we haven't seen that yet. Uh, this is something that the House wants to do quickly after the Senate's passage of the Farm Bill a few days ago. Uh, we're hopeful that this momentum can keep going. We're hopeful that it doesn't get bogged down in amendments. Uh, we need to get it to a floor vote and get the Farm Bill out as soon as we can. The Senate is critical to getting the, the immigration bill moving forward with a lot of momentum. We don't need uh, a Senate bill that gets passed by just a few votes. We need a strong showing, which is why United has been asking some of its members to come to Capitol Hill last week as well as this week for face-to-face -face meetings with members and their staff to make sure they understand how critical the, the Senate vote is going to be. If we don't have a strong showing in the Senate, it will make it that much tougher to get uh, the bill that we need through the House uh, coming up here in the next few weeks. I asked Frank Gasparini of the National Council of Ag Employers if he's still positive about the chances for immigration reform in the Senate. Well, Tom, I am remaining very optimistic. Um, you know, it has ups and downs, and, and, and things change from day to day. But the talk in the Senate is still really good. Both sides are still working together really well. And importantly, agriculture is still working together very, very well with a unified message. And that bodes well. We hear uh, quips and quotes in the House that we don't like this or we don't like that. But on the Senate side, we still have our agricultural deal uh, in place. We still believe that the main uh, basis for agriculture remain covered. And despite some partisan give and take uh, the last few weeks, we've remained right on track. So you never know what's going to happen. As they say, the ball game's not over until it's over. But there is remaining, there is still good cause for optimism. And if we all continue to work together, this might very well be the year.